According to The Economist, crime has been falling in most of Europe, but there is a counter-trend hidden in the numbers. Christian Fiefer, director of the Criminology Research Institute of Lower Saxony in Hanover, suggests that the eastward expansion of the European Union, eight countries joined in 2004, followed by Bulgaria and Romania in 2007, with full rights of free movement, has created more crime syndicates and gangs with training and scouting networks in Western Europe. So this video, we are going to show you European criminals that shock the industry. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Hassan Mohammed Amin and Kachramin. Mohammed Amin Hassan and Amin Kachro are at the top of the Danish National Police Department's most wanted list, and now they're on Europe's Hassan got into a fight over a cigarette with a companion in a Bronshire department seven years ago and wound up killing his friend with a kitchen knife during the altercation. He has been missing ever since. Katra is suspected of being behind the murder of 31-year-old Mohammed Sendi from Odens, who was a member of the Black Army Gang. Sendi was stabbed in the throat last June and bled to death in the street, and Southeast Jutland police believes Katra had Sendi murdered to avoid paying him the money he owed him for drugs. The Danish National Police Force, Riggs Bolidi, has now added the two men to Europol's list of the most wanted fugitives in Europe. Agapados Evans Evans Agapados, together with Dennis Koniskins, is wanted for the assassination of football agent Romans Bezobovs using an automatic weapon. The assassination was committed on April 14, 2021, when the victim was driving out of his residence. Evans Agapados and Dennis Koniskins, with other organized criminal group members, blocked the road with a BIMO X5 and fired several shots with automatic weapons that caused the victim's death. He is described as 170 centimeters in height and originates from Latvia. Group of Most Wanted Criminals from Interpol Lago Everid resident Vili Georgiev, Sandinsky resident Anand Zhivkov, and the Do Angel Fristov and Playman Galev have been declared wanted with red ballots from the region. Four criminals from the Perrin region continue to lead Interpol's list of the most wanted criminals in Bulgaria, which lists the names of 47 Bulgarians, according to Estruma. Com report on the website of the International Police Organization. Vili Georgiou from Blago of Brad and then Zhivkov from Sandansky, and the Do Angel Fristov and Playman Galev, better known as the Galevi brothers, have been declared wanted with red ballots from the region. Vili Krasimirov Georgiou from Blago of Grad hid from the 18 year sentence for the brutal beating, which ended with the death of student Stoyan Baltov in front of the Amnesia Disco in Sofia years ago. On December 23, 2014, Vili Georgiev and his accomplice in the serious crime Svetlozer Stoilov disappeared after hearing their 18-year sentence for the deliberate killing of student Baltov. Only the third convicted, Alexander Danilov, is in prison. In addition to the sentence, the Blago Evred resident and his friend must pay Ben 400000 in damages to Baltov's family. Their absconding was a major scandal, and the parents of the murdered boy were in shock. The 54-year-old criminal Anton Petkovsky Nashko is wanted for the contract execution of the Blagoev Red businessman Angel Fristov and the liquidation of his accomplice Emil Nikolov Madaka. The murder was uncovered in 2001 after a DNA test, and the double killer disappeared shortly before hearing the confirmation of the life sentence from the last instance. Petkovsky was last seen in 2012. Interpol also published the names, photos, and data of Angel Fristov and Playman Galev, known as the Galevi brothers, who were released at the request of the Bulgarian authorities. Before we move on, support us by hitting subscribe and the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. Now let's get back to our topic, Tanya Gomes. Tanya Gomes is known on the internet as the glamorous owner of the dog rescue charity Hunderin, but according to Europol, he was also involved in a wide range of more nefarious activities. On 23 September, Europol launched its most wanted annual campaign. The aim is for the general public in all European countries to help authorities find the people they are looking for. Gomes is wanted for serious drug-related offenses and serious money laundering, Europol says on its website. They write that she is 30 years old and 160 centimeters tall and associated with a criminal organization in Stockholm. He had to amputate after a urinary tract infection. According to the evening paper, Gomes describes himself as a social media dog rescuer, but Europol has a completely different image of the 30-year-old. Its role was to deliver and transport large quantities of drugs and money, Europol says. Furthermore, they write that she too is suspected of being involved in the illegal animal trade. Of all this, she is now one of the most wanted people in Europe. In June 2020, police raided the premises of the World Exchange Exchange Office in Södermalm in Stockholm. 
According to L'Espresso, police found Sec 15 million in cash which had been hidden in various places on the premises. The police then scored the exchange office for about a year and saw several notorious criminals coming and going. The regulars were members of Hells Angels and Bandidos, as well as the notorious crime network Varby's Network and the Gang the Lion. In addition to these, the police also noticed a brunette who kept visiting the office. Gomes has never previously been suspected of serious crime. It is not known how he reacts to suspicions and Europol's wanted list. His lawyer Mia Jolby does not want to comment on either the allegations or the search warrant. During the raid on the exchange office, the police discovered that one of the World Exchange accounts was named Nero. The police linked a 31-year-old man to the Nero account. He was appointed head of the group. The police dubbed further into the Nero network. And that's when Tanya Gomes came to the scene. She has reportedly known the leader Nero for a long time. In total, the network is said to have laundered nearly sec 90 million on the World Stock Exchange, according to Aftam Lidet. According to the police, Gomes had constantly exchanged money in the office. In one visit, she would be able to trade millions. We connected 16 criminal networks to this office, which held money and transacted. So through this, drug dealing was made possible, both in Sweden and abroad. It would not have been possible without this office, Attorney General Arne Forst said to the Swedish news agency T. Police suspect Tanya Gomes was instrumental in managing the money, as well as storing, delivering, and selling large quantities of drugs. According to the police, Gomes and the leader of the organization Nero communicated in the encrypted messaging system in Crochet. The former would send drug photos several times. Dagblade has already written about how criminal organizations collapse in the spring of 2020 across Europe. The French and Dutch police had managed to hack EncroChat, thus unmasking thousands of criminals using the service. Norwegian police were involved in the operation, which resulted in several hundred cases. In June 2021, 750 people were arrested in a massive police operation in Germany. Among other things, the Germans seized 3.2 tons of cannabis. 400 kilograms of cocaine and 168 million euros. Just before Christmas last year, it transpired that 2,631 people were suspected as a result of police accessing EncroChat. Tons of drugs and millions of pounds have been seized and so far over a thousand people have been charged. In Sweden, the killings were prevented and 155 people were arrested last summer following the disclosure of EncroChat. Tom Richard Diane Mikkelsen Mikkelsen is frequently mentioned in the Texas criminal records surrounding the gang of Piet S. de Telegraph Saw. He was seen by the police and the judiciary as a man with excellent contacts in the port of Antwerp. S.'s gang had corrupt contacts here. According to the judiciary, thousands of pounds of drugs were smuggled through the port through the organization. The Texas investigation revolves around 12 suspects who, according to the public prosecutor, were driven by the well-known criminal Piet S., this organization is said to have been involved in the international drug trafficking of cocaine from the South, among others, from America to Europe and the trade in raw materials for synthetic drugs. According to Alm, the organization entered into an alliance with the Satudara Motorcycle Gang. S's organization received protection in exchange for cocaine. Elgin Tom Richard Diane McKilson was sentenced in absentia to 54 months imprisonment by the Amsterdam court in 2019 for delivering cocaine and heroin mainly in the Netherlands and Belgium, for money laundering and ammunition. He is still in prison for 1,350 days. This list of the most wanted refugees in Europe was drawn up by Europol and the investigative organization Enfast, European Network Fugitive Active Search Teams. By being included on this list, people in countries other than the Netherlands can also say keep an eye out for Mikkelsen, the police. The investigation into Mikkelsen's whereabouts has been going on for some time, a European arrest warrant, EO, was issued by the National Public Prosecutor's Office. The search for the whereabouts is carried out by FASNL, Fugitive Active Search Team Netherlands, which works closely with other FAST teams in Europe. There is evidence that Mikkelsen is in Spain or has been there for a long time, possibly around Valencia, Alicante, or Marbella. In addition, the Belgian has contacts near the hub. The search has not yet led to Mikkelsen's arrest. For this reason, the public prosecutor's office decided to reveal the identity of the fugitive Belgian. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you like this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.